resisting. So Danny's pushing into Jesse. He doesn't want to go to the fence. When he feels it, you're going to pull him into that way. Fence, yeah. Go ahead. Pull him. Pull the arm. Yes. And put him into the fence. Good. They'll move. Keep pressure on each other. Push off the wall. Ready? Push him into the wall. And what did he use? Jesse used the other one. And that's okay. I need you guys using all of them. Okay? Push off the wall. Danny on this one. Jesse's not going to let you pull the arm. Maybe start by pulling the arm. Like you want to turn him to the right. But when he doesn't want to go, he's pushing you. Push him. Good. Come off the wall. Push. And then Jesse's going to pull that tricep and pull, throw him right into the wall. Okay? Remember, you guys got to do this before you get pinned. Nice. Once you guys get him to the wall, once we get him to the wall, we're going to go leg in the middle, lead leg in the middle, your, your left hand that's around the back on a fence, sometimes you get cheese grated. That means your hand will get rubbed up against the fence. You can put your hand against the fence, just like if you were on the mat. If you're on the mat, you could have your hand on the mat and crawl your hand up. Walk that hand up the wall. Yeah, see that? And keep your pressure in. Step right deep. Yes, like this. So now when Jesse's trying to move, he can't move laterally, he can't go right or left, and he can't get out of there. You have to learn that also how to pin him. Do this for a second, not for 10 seconds, not for five, just do it for a good second. And then move off the wall. Now Jesse's gonna practice it. So Danny's trying to shove him into the fence. He turns him and he practices pinning him. Danny, and Danny has a good partner, acts like a mouse being caught. He tries to wiggle around a little bit. He's trying to move. See that? Now they move off the wall. Don't waste too much time. And give me either the twist, or the tricep lap, lap row kind of pulling motion off the wall. My favorite and the one that will probably be your favorite is going to be the twist, the lap pull. That's the one that's going to work the most because when Danny's a solid guy, he's not going to push you against the wall when he's being dominated with an underhook. He's going to be winging this down, lifting his underhook up. So Jesse's going to need to learn how to twist it, okay, and hit that lap pull. Be very aware of your head going into the wall. So if you're really late to the party, like if Danny does it at the last second, Jesse's head could eat the wall right there. Just be careful. And again, if it's a fight, we don't care because that's our, our opponent. But when it's our training partner in the room, try to have good timing. Do it before you hit the wall. Don't do it at the last second. And if you're the one that's gonna go face first, you might want to let go and kind of post your hand on the wall you know, and not run your head into the wall, okay? Or just go with it earlier, okay? Ready? Let's go, get it. Very important fundamentals, guys. MMA clinch work, let's get it down. All right, guys, taking all the basic movements, putting them together. Um, the, the, for MMA clinch work, up against the fence, this is one of the most important drills you can do. This drill is gonna make you a lot better, a lot better. Once you have this, you'll see this in almost every clinch fight. When you guys watch the UFC, you'll see guys pushing against the fence and you'll see guys turning each other. It also is applicable once you're already pinned, sometimes as you jockey for pummels and positioning that you're going to twist and, and move your opponent. So it, it, it's very important to learn. So I hope you enjoy. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below. And we'll see you guys next time with more great stuff.